This video is brought to you by Galaxy Lamps. Thank you so much for helping make this video possible. Digging in this thing, and right when I open it up, check this out. Three different versions of Blade Runner. So you got this one right here, you got this one right here, and you got this one right here. I didn't even know there was three different variations. I'm buying them. And Ricky, look at this, bro. Check this out, check this out. Crisscross vintage shirt. The Cross Crew, I mean, it's a sleepwear shirt, so it's not as cool because it's a little, like, super long, but freaking crisscross, that's amazing. That's pretty cool. Right. So besides the crisscross shirt being picked up, Ricky also snagged himself. That's Is that Obey? Oh, no, what? That's a pretty fire-looking sponge off. Let me see that design in the back. Yeah, that's cool, man. I, oh, look at freaking Patrick looks. Wow. That's different than I thought. That's way different than I thought. <laughs> Hello, Ben. Hi there. All right, all right, Ricky, let's see what you got right here at the last booth. Actually, I think we saw these like a week ago, but didn't pick them up. And now we're like, we should have probably picked these up. So, all right. So actually, we're spotted these. The Robotech's pretty dope. But then you got the Headmaster Transformer. This is interesting. That's on there. I know nothing about comics, but Spider-Man. Because it's Marvel. Oh, have they always been Marvel? I'm not sure. I don't know that much about these comics, should be told. Cool. Let's see. In here, ready? I just got in the mail something from Galaxy Lamps and I'm stoked. Galaxy Lamps, can I just say right off the bat, thank you for not sending me like a script. You just said, hey, have fun with it. You're gonna love this. Let's check it out. <laughs> it's a little light in here, but let's go check this out. Come here. All right, so we got the Galaxy Lamp right here. It's daytime, you can't really, st still looks very awesome. There's a lot of different things you can do on this, but let's black out this house a little bit so we can check it out. After turning it on and connecting it to my phone, this is one of the most simple ways you can add accents to any room. Look at this, check out the phone right here. There's a whole bunch of, oh, look at that preset. So this is relaxing set. Just a ton of different settings and ways you can make it. Oh, that looks cool, it looks like a nebula. And with this, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different ways to customize everything and ways to make it look and different settings. You just kind of toggle it how you want it to look. This thing is amazing. This has so many cool, unique styles, unique looks. If you have a game room, a YouTube channel, or just want things to look cool, this is a quick, easy way to make things look awesome and in just a fun way. It also has app and voice control. With this, you can truly transform any room into your own planetarium. It has app and voice control, flexible timing function, and a three position base that allows projection on ceilings or walls. If you're looking to get 15% off of this amazing fun galaxy lamp right here, all you gotta do is go down to my link down in the description below, or you can use my discount code Pixel Game Squad and you get 15% off this. This is so fun, so unique, so fun. Just a simple, easy way. I truly love this. Perfect setting. Thank you so much to Galaxy Lamps for not only being awesome, but also helping support this channel. It means the world. Yeah. Sonic, okay. Mario. a boot Mario, okay. da, da, da. and oh, that's it really, of the big ones. System, huh? Yeah, well there is right there, a DS, oh, but okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> this, yeah. It it's probably from Target, this PlayStation gift set. It comes with a little stand controller and then a little water bottle. Oh, there it is, yeah. Got the whole set. And then there is an Xbox 360 in there as well. Some Marvel books lying around, some Superman comics. Yeah, some of these you gotta keep an eye out for, Ricky. I found one of these, like, maybe what was it, two weeks ago that was like a $100 comic I, book like this? I couldn't believe it. It was like a coloring book and it's like a $100 book. That's kind of Silver Surfer, man. I don't know, it just reminds me of the game every time. So hard, but such a good song. Oh yeah, the soundtrack, Jared can put it in the back, man. Silver Surfer soundtrack, any, oh, this is cool too, actually. Really cool. See, I like that. Is that Sears? See, look at the Sears catalog from 1908. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, so Ricky, you just bought this. How much did you get it for? Two bucks. Two bucks, and then uh, you didn't even know, you just bought it because it was cool, but what was the value yeah, ended up being on that? What's up, how's it going? What's up, man? Oh, long time no see. <laughs> I wanna buy both my car. You wanna buy this, you wanna buy this? These are like, like 20 bucks on Amazon. So I did buy, what do you guys think this is worth-ish? I, I just now found it, I bought it. I paid 20 bucks for it. I would say at least double maybe. I would say bucks. at least double, you think? Yeah. 50 to 60 bucks? Yeah, so I, I looked it up and it seems like the average running asking on this is anywhere from like 70 to 90 bucks. So it, it, I, this old Hulk style, every time I see that old Hulk, that's when I'm like, okay, I got I got to give this guy a little bit of, that's oh, no, old school Marvel. Like Silver Age? Or... Back before everything wasn't completely stupid. Wait, okay. Ricky, what? Seriously. What in the world? Air Jordan lockers. Obviously, they're not like metal, but these are actually really cool. And then there's another one right here, which is who was it? Oh, this yeah. was Orlando. Oh, that was O'Neill. Oh, what's up, Dusty boy? How are you, sir? What's up, beautiful man? How much for a 
Jordan? Uh, 50 bucks, dude. 50 bucks? I'm just missing the latch. That's why I was doing 50. They go like 150 online. Really? That's it's bad, dude. No, it, I mean, it, you it's... know, you could totally see that like in the kid's room in the 90s with his video games. Oh, and for his, sure. And his, his OG Jordan's up on a shelf oh, dude, I, in there, dude. I was watching Home Improvement last night and I was Googling like all, that. <laughs> I was Googling all the skateboards and everything. I'm like, oh, dude, this is good stuff. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, the double, the D O. Oh, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah, dude. I like Dusty. <laughs> Dusty just came around the corner and he's like, I got some stuff. Let's see if you guys want it. Oh, here we go, Ricky. N64 stuff. We got. Let's see. N64. We got Tekken 3. Let's see. Oh, no game. No game. That's okay. Hang time. NFL Quarterback Club. Mario 64. I watched the movie last night. So, would you imagine? that this was in the locker. It was in that locker? Yeah. Totally. That is funny. Yeah. That is funny. Along with the dog pound shirt. Uh, okay, so yeah, here we go, Ricky. Check it out. Dusty, what do you kind of want on this? you know by any chance? Oh, you? Okay, he's bringing more. He said he has more. So he's going to bring more. This is why I love that man. But yeah, as you can see, some good ones. So I watched the movie last night, man. I, I, I definitely had a great time at that movie. Oh, my God. Oh, it's got the, the Frogger arcade. Look at it, guys. Oh, boy. Ricky, check it out. Ricky, ready? Is it the Kaleco thing? Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, these are sick. What do you have in mind, Dusty? 100, 100 for content. Ooh, I'll give you 100 bucks. Okay. Check what's in there. Ready? Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, empty inside. What the? Here, we'll, we'll take it to our resident old guy. Ben, what is this? It's old. <laughs> no, not Beam a... Galaxy, and I don't even know that one. Okay, wow. And then we have the Mrs. Pac Man one as well. And then this one, Ricky, check this one out. Let's see, let's see. But that's is... a two player. Oh, wow. Okay. What are you thinking, Dust Ball? So, uh, 400 bucks? I'm just kind yeah, of dude, going trust, for it. I trust you as far as I can throw. <laughs> <laughs> is that yeah. <laughs> is that is that good? Yeah. Curtis, don't act like you won't purposely just stand. The most non Nintendo colors this ever. This is probably the most grail outfit I've seen in a while. The only problem is that you're ugly. Yeah. If so Dusty was wearing it, though, it'd look problem. freaking sexy, oh, bro. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, yeah, there we go. I definitely bought it all. Sorry, I was kind of re recalibrating my brain because I wasn't thinking very much. But some of these are really cool, aside from, you know, these big ones. Ricky's genuinely debating that Michael Jordan locker, by the way. But uh, I'm just putting everything away. Again, gave him 400 bucks. Dusty, we're always kind of giving him, you know, just just a little bit under just to keep the the flow going of the relationship ricky you thinking about it i'm gonna do it dude oh my gosh i'm, I'm, gonna, gonna... I'm gonna ask him for 40 if he does 40 off dusty <laughs> dusty <laughs> hey, did you do 40 on the roof mm, mm. i mean you should have a scratch right here <laughs> <laughs> you just take it yeah there you go bro how am i gonna yell at this guy <laughs>did anybody see you? I'm sure we all saw in the Mario movie. Yep. It's not an Easter egg where he's playing Kid Icarus. It was so cool. It was su super awesome. And just like that, Jay sold him to Ricky for what he bought him for, which is very reminiscent of the episode that just went out where I bought the skateboard and sold it to Jay exactly for what I bought it for. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and now we're not making money this Jay, way. But, thanks, ooh, Jay. Ricky. Oh, baby. Anything on the back? I, oh, it's the Super Scope ooh. one. Good lord. Nice. I actually uh, oh wore this to Mario last night. Oh, you did? I wore, Which one do you think I wore last night? This one. Nope. I wore my Mario 64 one. Nice. <laughs> so one thing Ricky and I have noticed on our whatnots is a lot of people love, love Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. It's like one of the things people always ask for. So Ricky's looking at buying all this stuff right here. And again, not at like some crazy price, just to, you know, bring some fun. Oh, dinosaurs. Yep. Yes. That is awesome. That's amazing. That's a pretty cool beast right there too. That's He's actually really like cool beast. A, a beefy beast. No. Oh, he, he has talking powers. Ben found some games, just what, a couple oh, oh. bucks each. Oh, wow. Two bucks each. Dave Sex, what's under it? Mostly shooters. Okay, Lost Planet 2. Fear cool. 2 is great. Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid 4. You know, I'm Very not nice. a big Metal Gear guy, but I respect Metal Gear. Yeah, right. I respect it, but I'm not a, a big Metal Gear guy. I have two bucks, can't go wrong, right? Oh, dude, yeah. That's fantastic, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, Ricky did end up buying them. Do you smell that? Do you guys smell that? Do you guys smell that? 
you guys smell that? What do you uh, smell? What do you smell? I think I'm smelling some camel balls. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> wow, we went there, huh? It was there. What's up, dog? 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 Ricky's going hard in here on the, the VHS. Oh, hey, Terminator 2? Digimon? That Fox Kids logo, bro, it gets me every time. King of all the way. What do you got in your hand so far? All right. Uh, I actually don't know what this oh, is. Oh, yeah. I've watched, I've, I've watched that multiple times. All right. <laughs> yes. Ernest goes to jail. I don't know why I have this. Copycat. But... Ooh, X Men. Species. Wow. Thomas and Friends. <laughs> Some good ones in there, Ricky. Spawn. Oh, Spawn 2. I don't really see Spawn 2 ever. <laughs> hey, guys. Look at that. I don't think I ever saw oh, it. That's a web of lies. Point break. Ricky. Yo. Are you going to put those on whatnot? Yeah, dude. People love these. I actually <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ricky, right behind you. I feel bad for you. Oh, that's a great one. Not sealed, they're a dollar each. That's a great one, Ricky. Behind you, what? 100% pick that up. Guys, Look at guys. this, bro. Ready? Oh, no. Duck tails. Woo! Woo. Indiana Jones. Wait, Duck Indiana tails. Jones. Muppets. Oh, the Schoolhouse Rock set. Wait, Pretty hold on. Let's go. Oh my gosh, Ricky, look at this, bro. Do you remember these? Oh my gosh, yes, I do. Okay, they did a remake of these on Hulu recently. Yeah. They were garbage, cringe, embarrassing. I couldn't even watch it. I was like embarrassed watching it. So I am gonna buy DuckTales, DuckTales, and the Space Jam Bugs Bunny, and I'll show you what Ricky got in a minute. I might even pick this up too. Sometimes these old like articles when it's like important in times in history, are pretty cool to collect. Yeah, Ricky, yeah. show me what you just got, my guy. Yeah, in there. Spawn, Spawn 2, that's, I think that's the thanks coolest to, one. Thanks to Curtis. Yeah. That's really cool. Species. I literally watched that like a month ago. X-Men, Linden and Wolverine. X-Men. Rugrats. With the Rugrats. Uh, Prom night, night sealed. 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 And, then, and then that's sealed. I'm not gonna lie, that being in there was super cool. This was yeah, inside the of the old locker. That's um, You wanna know the craziest part? What? So that's do you know what was in this entire locker when Dusty bought it? Um, all those video games that I bought. All the, the, oh, the really? all the, the big giant N64, the okay. PlayStation, nice, nice. all the arcade tabletops, those are all in here. Sweet. Let me see, Ricky. Dude, I haven't even seen one like that before. Wow, I cannot believe that was in there. And I know it's beat up. You got screws. And you got screws. And that, you got screws. And bro. a camera. <laughs> Dude, don't let Dusty see this video. He's gonna want his money back. Ooh. Yes. Yo. How much are the VHS? Uh, Four dollars Four bucks? What about Barney? <laughs> Look at this phone, Ricky. The king of all flip phones. Look at Dolce and Gabbana. Dude. What the heck? Oh, is it? Is it have any value or? So there was one you said that was like 100 bucks, and then there's another one like 50. Wow. Because there's no like, there's no. There's no common yeah, sold yeah, sense yeah. ground. Yeah. Curtis found me this. Trans World, dude. dude this was my life. Was Trans World skateboarding? I wonder if it's like official Trans World, like the skateboarding company, or like the branding of Trans World. Hmm. I'm gonna look. So I'm 99.999% sure this is from Trans World Skateboarding. They have like a globe logo, if I recall correctly. It's on the zipper, which a bummer though, this rip right here. I would say I'll get it stitched, but I have to be 100% honest with myself, I know I won't. I'll say I will, and then I'll never get it stitched. Yeah, so, just like me selling. I might just pick it up just to pick it up, otherwise. Oh, Ricky, I'm gonna check this out. How much is the uh, controllers in I'm here? I'm just doing the whole set for 75 with the red controller. Okay. The red gear one's like 30, 35. Okay, wow, so 75 with the red gears controller in there. Yeah, that thing's nicer there. And under here, you got all the Power Rangers cassettes. They have. A, there's a lot of different ones of these. There's definitely like a whole different Oh, these are, this is a cool one right here. I like that one. I'll see how much these are. Maybe I'll grab a few of these if they're, you know, decently priced. Ooh, what do we got? Donkey Kong, Venture, Smurf, Mr. Do, Gorf, Ladybug. What is this? Cosmic Avenger. Cool little graphic art on that guy. And then you got these. We, we found these before and we love these. Michael Jordan Pogs. These are absolutely rad. And there's more. Oh, yeah, there's more over here. Is this the White Ranger one? No. Look at these right here. Just some super sick MC Hammer, Ice Cube, Sir Mix-a-Lot. Oh my gosh, there's also some Bone Thugs right there, cassette right there. Super rad with DMX, Tupac, bunch of Tupac ones up there actually. That's a cool poster, Ricky. So let's see who we got. We got Moonwalker, we got Fantasy Star, we got Buster Douglas, right? We got Hang On, we got with Joe Montana's Talk Football, I don't know which one. We got uh, Last Battle. And we got Golden Axe. Dang, dude, I'm freaking, I know my stuff, bro. Don't freak out. 
I know. I probably got half of those wrong. <laughs> I felt pretty good about it. I think I got one wrong, probably. Ooh, look at this manual. Bonkers. That what a great bonkers. game. Yeah, totally nuts. Which one's he looking at? Oh, Hide Lie. Heavy Barrel, Star Tropics. Okay. Hide Lie, okay. Global Cop. This is actually a Zelda one, but it's missing the cover. Ah, shoot. Kirby. Ooh, ooh. Ultima. Ultima. Yeah, and Sega Visions. Sega Vision. Sega Vision. No breathe. Wait till you see what I just got. <laughs> You'll see. Famicom Transformers. Legit, look. They're all Famicom. See, all right, what price you got for Ricky? 100, 200, yep, 100, yep. 100, 100. Take he, he should give you six. Six, Ricky. Okay, give him six. six to make it fair. This is funny. Make it fair. All right, real talk. Ricky did buy them all for 20 bucks. But what I wanted to show you guys is our beautiful friends a minute ago came over and gave me these Famicom Transformers. Check this out, Ricky. Look at this. Look at this. They're all Famicom <laughs> games. They're from Japan, but they transform. Look at this Kung Fu. It's supposed to be Kung Fu right there. What's that one like? Hang on. I think so. Oh, yeah, this too. Look at that. And they just are super cool, man. I love it. They're such a cool little unique thing. Little from They're vending machines from Japan. From, from Japan. What's that from, Ricky? It's a Street Fighter. Yes, sir. Ricky, over there looking at plushies. What plushies, Ricky, are you looking at buying? What are your most likely ones? Just this one. Let me see this. You got the cool shell? Oh yeah, he's got the handkerchief bandana thingy. Yeah. That thing's sick, bro. I like it, I like it. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's from like the vending machine, I think. Possible. Wait, what's that X-Men one though, bro? That's the that's the real one this I wanna know about. Cool. Is that vintage? Oh yeah. Oh shoot. That thing is sick. I love that. What year is that from? I think it's actually old. Let's see, ready? Oh yeah, 84, the year before I was born. All right, we'll have to pick that boy up. This poster is pretty wild, not gonna lie. So this is X-Men. <laughs> woman but look at this <laughs> i mean <laughs> i don't need to explain year, much but yeah 84 yeah wow what a wild poster there it is ricky dude this would be so cool if the she hulk show wasn't so terrible i mean guy this was back when they were doing things just freaking awesome oh look at this yeah oh my gosh it's beautiful <laughs> i love it so much did you see that teen titans one no let me see let me see Oh, yeah, yeah, the vintage Teen Titans one, basically. Oh, my gosh. Dude, this is 83. This is older than we are. That was awesome. <laughs> Ricky's like, I love you, man. So Ricky bought something, and Ricky was like, I love you, man. Thanks for the good deal. And he's like, I hate you. Don't fool me. I don't want it. Curtis got the bomb one. All right, let's see. Curtis got the bomb one for sure. No, they're all bomb. So, my goodness. So yeah, these are, I mean, again, there's like, these are just as beautiful as they get. And they're vintage. They're pricey. They're valuable. This one is super sick, dude. Look at that, jeez Louise. It's like you could look anywhere and find something amazing at any moment just poking around. My goodness. Hey Ben. Yep. If Ricky was a band. Foreigner. Oh, nice. <laughs> I desperately wish I knew more about this. There's tons of like laser disc and anime movies in here. Ah, gosh darn it. I don't know anything about them. I don't know. Gosh, they're so beautiful, though. We're also at Dave Hester's booth, by the way. Uh oh, that looked like Chun Li right there. Right there. I know that's what I said. I'm like, dude, is that Chun Li? Not though, but uh, there's more right here. Yes, look. Uh, so this one. What the? Oh, that one's stuck together. Don't go to that one. What does Nadia. that look like to you? Nadia, I've seen this before. I know. I bought but, the VHS of these. But Shantae. She looked, yeah, she looks like Shantae. Yeah, Shantae's look to her. Ah, oh, super cool. But yeah, we're at uh, Dave Hester's booth right now. Dang, I have this on VHS also. This is so weird to me. It looks to me like somebody photoshopped Ken onto the White House lawn, I think. I'm not exactly that's sure. Oh, wow, that's a great <laughs> bud sign. Wow. Oh, the glass piece is missing right here, but wow, that's pretty. That's pretty. Let's see it, Ricky. Ricky's trying to get me to get a, a TV. What kind is it? What do we got here? It's a Shogun, bro. That makes it actually kind of cooler. Doesn't it? It's called a Shogun. <laughs> Is it color? I don't know if it's color. Dude, that's a sweet little TV. It is a nice little TV. Check it out, look, it still has like the thing on there, look. The display. This could have been a display one. Ooh! That's a big baby Yoda. <laughs> or Grogu. How's it feel, Curtis? Real talk, real talk, in your house. Back in the day in the theater and didn't watch anything. Bolt that to the ground? <laughs> I like it. If it fits your butt, bro. Does it really? Dude, this back in the And behind you, saxophone. Curtis, how much did you pay for both of these? Ten dollars. Ten bucks. My goodness, man. And it's real. I can't believe you rip off people that swap me. That's uh, messed they, up, bro. Like looking at that five dollar fine. It's just. 
It was five bucks? Yeah. With the the GameCube? Yeah. With Crazy Taxi yeah. in there? Yeah. I'm ripping people off, dude. Dang. That's what. There's a, there's a difference between good finds and just being a scumbag. <laughs> Honestly. I mean, God dang it. Ooh. Game Squad just absolutely been <laughs> If Gabo was here, he would love this right here. And what is this? Anybody know? Droid Inventor, like R2-D2. Yeah, I think it's one of those. Like for kids and yeah, they can like. you could build something. Make and, like, it move. And have software to it. Beep, boop, bop, bop, beep type thing. Pretty yeah, much. those are cool. Ooh, this is. Is that natural color? There's no way. I don't think so either. Maybe. <laughs> Every once in a while, we have to say hi to him when we find him, and there he is. That's for my son. He's he's still here. He's still alive. So, what's it feel like, bro? Being YouTube famous. Yeah. It's hard to be walking through the streets, man. Dang! People yeah. stop you everywhere you go. Yeah. Well, we actually had a, a lady yell. We had a lady yell for my son today for us randomly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, thanks, man, for uh, becoming a legend and uh, a meme and. Everything Working you... the numbers up there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Clocking up the dollars? <laughs> what did you just find lying around? Is how, how heavy is that? Oh my gosh, relax, my guy. You almost missed. <laughs> All right, y'all, I need your help. Can you get this out? Is this able to come out? Because I really like the fit of these, but that ink stain is too frightening for me. Dang it. Yeah. All right, I, I have to do a little one minute review before we go. I saw the Mario movie last night and I loved it. I have to be 100% honest, I freaking loved it, is my honest opinion. The amount of freaking fan service that we got in this thing was unbelievable. I almost had a hard time watching and enjoying because I was so hyper-focused on all the different things that were happening in the backgrounds from the posters, and I won't give away any spoilers, just everything that was going on in there was everything you could want as an actual Mario fan. I feel like if you didn't like the movie, that's okay, everything is, you, you can have your own decisions, but I feel like anybody who's an actual Mario fan is gonna smile from start to finish. I loved every freaking second of it. It's everything I ever wanted in a Mario movie, hands down. Show me, baby boy. Show me what you got. Oh, whoa, what are these? These were those pog things. I ended up buying them all. Wait, what? I didn't see these. These they're are all sealed. pogs? Yeah, no. They're pogs sealed. They're like 50 bucks a piece. Holy moly. And you got these at the Swami, same one as us? Yeah. Like we say, guys, this, the competition, it's there, but it's not the end all. All and then what else? Old, just all the old Godzilla, Godzilla stuff. Some of those were like 75 to 100. And you grabbed this all just now. Wow, these are awesome, dude. And then these were awesome. I had to get these. What? These were the show and jump. Yeah, dude. That is. Actually, they're more like. Oh, look at there's Mario. Enough. Look at wow. Mario's right there. What the heck? Hey, wh what? What, what are we missing are. here? <laughs> we just know, opened these. We opened these, and there's a whole bunch of Mario stuff in here. What in the world? Okay, that's not Mario, but what, did Mario just cross in the universe with them? Okay, that was very, very odd. That's the one page we opened to. Yeah, that is, these were awesome. So I saw them and I just ended up buying all of them. Yeah. yeah. Look at that one's like a Voltron on it. Too. I don't blame you. How many are in here? There was 16 of them. 16 figures? Yeah. Are these boots or are these legit? I, I think they're definitely legit. Some of them are older than others. I know that these were the ones I was talking about, like feel how these light are this is. so cool though, man. Feel how light it is? Yeah. Though? That one and this one are probably the most expensive. Mothra? Ones in there. Yeah. And I maybe it says the date on them. I'm not sure. Probably. 2002. Either. Oh, they're newer. On this one. So those, that one's newer. Bandai. But it's Bandai. Yeah. This one has really good texture to it, actually. These are pretty cool. This is Ben. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we almost, I almost bought these, but then he went and bought them for JRPG Live. So I've never seen these. On and ladies and gentlemen, we end the day showing you guys why we collect vintage clothing. This speaks for itself, especially this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you really want to see. <laughs> For my son!